All right, so checking out some new Bluetooth headphones here from this company called Blue D, and these are the BD BH 200s, and so these are you know pretty typical looking for a lot of the uh, Bluetooth headphones that are out in the market right now. Let's take a quick look at the box here, and just to kind of go over some of the highlights. All right, so we got 10 meter connect range, 40 millimeter dynamic drivers up to 50 hours of playtime battery life and 800 hours of standby time. So you see three boxes here. Obviously one is from this box here that I've taken out. Two are gonna be given away a little bit later in the video. So stick around for the instructions on how to enter. But let's take a quick look at what you get in the package. So obviously you get the headphones. You do get a nice soft uh, cloth bag here to carry your stuff. You get a USB-C cable for charging and then you have a uh, three and a half millimeter audio cable so you can connect this up to uh, you know your three and a half millimeter audio jacks for direct wired audio instead of through bluetooth so the thing here came on the uh, ear cups and these are replaceable so if they wear out you can uh, ask the company to send you new ones although kind of wish that they would have included a spare set in the box that would have been nice and you get your uh, standard instruction manual here Pretty straightforward. All right, take a look at the headphones itself. Pretty standard looking. Uh, obviously, they rotate here so that you can uh, lay them flat and also adjust the angle to your head and ears. Uh, the, I guess the length of the headband here is adjustable. So I have it adjusted to my head size is about right around here. Uh, just all the, it goes all the way out to here. So if you got a really large head you can uh, accommodate that. Uh, the tension of the band I think is pretty tight I would say. Uh, well I have a larger head so it's kind of tight on me. For those of you with smaller heads you'll probably like the fact that it has more tension because it will uh, give the maximum security so they don't fall off if you're like running around with these but I wouldn't I don't think this is uh, appropriate for like you know, exercise headphones. They, if you jump around a lot, they probably will get knocked off. The uh, ear cups themselves are kind of this sort of faux leather material. This does tend to wear out over time, so I guess, uh, you know, you'll probably want to uh, take advantage of the warranty and uh, get some new ones or replacements at some point. And then the same material here uh, at the top. Now, of course, you know, this, this is uh, going to be mostly affected by your sweat, um, but I've had some of these budget ones before where these tend to, the, the, the material here tends to sort of break down over time. It gets kind of, it kind of flakes off and they put, at which one you should replace those, uh, the material there. Pretty basic setup here. So you have a uh, like so multifunction button here and, and an up and, and down button. So long press to power on and power off. Uh, down is for volume down, up is for volume up. If you long press the up and down buttons, they'll uh, do basically track up and track down. Uh, answer a phone call, you just uh, short press the button while it's on. And then to reject a call, you long press that button. This does have the uh, ANC button here for noise cancellation. So um, I'll show you what that little light will turn green when it's active. Uh, we have a USB-C here port here for charging and then you have your three and a half millimeter jack here on the bottom and then you have your little microphone um, little microphone pieces over here so that you know if you want to use it for phone calls and such and maybe for like uh, chats on gaming that'll be fine for those purposes then we'll go ahead and turn it on the little audio tone saying it's powered on and then here you can short press this and you see it's green in terms of the uh, noise cancellation on. There's only basically uh, two levels of a noise cancellation, either on or off. So when it's off, there's no light. When it's on, you have a green light. The noise cancellation on this is fairly decent. Um, a, you know, if you're in a fairly noisy environment, like out in a crowd, it will drown out most of these, but you won't notice it. It does affect the audio quality of whatever you're listening to. So if you're an audiophile, uh, it's pretty standard. The noise cancellation functions on a lot of these headphones will alter the sort of sound envelope of the 
uh, whatever you're listening to. So if you're listening to say like classical music or something like that, it is going to sound a little bit sort of muffled. Um, it's kind of you know, because it's kind of like a sort of like wind reduction almost. Uh, it's not terrible. Uh, obviously, this is very subjective because there's no way for me to, you know, objectively um, portray the audio of these through video because uh, everyone's sort of perception of the audio is going to be different. So I'm just going to give you my 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 subjective opinion on what this sounds like compared to some of the other things that I have tried out in the past. And again, you know, the audio quality in this one is, I would say, appropriate for the price point. I, last I checked, this was around $60. I think, uh, you know, typical Amazon pricing games, I think it was $80 with a $20 coupon. And, of course, those prices will fluctuate over time. So, depending on when you check the link, uh, it could be higher, it could be lower. Generally speaking, my and this is sort of like um, budget slightly higher end of the budget range um i've i've tested a few of these and the sound quality is about on par with the with the price uh, if you go down a little bit lower in price like the, i've seen some of these that kind of look very similar to this uh, say around the 30 to 35 dollar price point and you'll find that the plastic material here is not as nice uh the the sort of this material that they use on the ear cups also not as nice they just kind of cut corners everywhere just overall the build doesn't feel as i nice. said so this build feels appropriate for about the 60 dollar price point now comparing the audio quality to something like um uh, bose quiet comfort uh, i forget which one i tested it was a um, i actually bought one from costco last year black friday and uh, those were running i think i had them on sale for like 250. Um, i ended up actually returning those because i at the time i was testing those with uh, something similar to this one and i ultimately decided well the audio quality of the bose wasn't worth the extra almost three times the price and so yes the you know if you spend 250 300 dollars on like a bose equivalent uh set of uh, wireless bluetooth headphones you know you, you know you're going to get more for your money of course but the question is is it worth three you know two to three times as much money uh, that's a very subjective thing for some of you yes others maybe not so much and for my case i decided um you know having something in the 50 dollar range i think i forget the name of that one was if you go back on my old videos you can see which one i reviewed um the 50 dollar one was good enough for me and so i was like well i after trying out the bows you know for like about a week I ended up taking them back and getting my money back um yes the you know the quality of the bows in that price point which you're going to get in something compared to like this price point around the 50 60 dollar price point you're going to get better bass so the bass on this one is okay it's not super powerful it's a little bit on the muff it's kind sort of muffled side it's not super clear the mid and the highs the tweet uh, so the, the tweet i guess the treble range is pretty clear on this one so for i guess like classical music podcast audio type um of, of uh, sort of content uh it's gonna be pretty clear like especially any kind of voice related stuff like um podcasts are gonna be really good um audiobooks for example perfectly fine for things that are like heavy and bass like like um r b music rap uh, you know, lots of bass, um, booming bass. These aren't going to be really your cup of tea. You're probably not going to enjoy the, you know, the heavy bass. In this one is really not that strong. The other thing that I noticed about this one is that the uh, max volume level on this one is lower than um, some of the other ones I've tested in this sort of same price range. Now, I think they've done this so that the when you go to max volume, you don't get distortion. So they've sort of adjusted the max volume so that um, we're at the max volume level. The, the audio is still clear. It's not distorted. It's, so at the max volume level, it is plenty loud. Unless you're in an extremely noisy environment, you're not going to have any trouble hearing any. You know, unless you like to have like super, super loud music, um, then maybe these, these, these headphones aren't going to be for you. I personally find that even these on sort of on the lower lower volume side i was still at like three quarters volume half volume and i was totally fine with that it was perfectly clear it's just that on some of these other ones that are in this sort of 
50 60 dollar price range uh you can go to higher volume so but at max volume you get some distortion so they've adjusted the volume down so it's appropriate to these drivers but yeah that's about it in terms of the quality of the audio and my sort of subjective perception of this you know for most content i think it's going to be fine watching videos podcasts audiobooks most types of music uh, but if you're specifically looking for lots of bass i would steer away from these these are just don't have the big enough drivers for that huge booming bass. Anyway, I think that's going to cover from my review of these uh, Blue D uh, BD BH200s. Pretty good headphones for the money. Uh, but again, there's lots of these on the market. So if you go to Amazon, you're going to see tons of them. So it really kind of boils down to whether or not you kind of like the styling of this one. It looks pretty generic, but uh, you know, pretty clean overall. And the audio is in par with the price point. So, you know, it kind of depends on when you look at it. Maybe they'll have a better coupon. We'll see. You have to check and, you know, if you can get this in the $40 to $45 range, I'd say it's a pretty good value. Now, for those of you who've been waiting around for the giveaway, I'm going to give away two of these brand new ones here. Um, you will have to pay for shipping so if you uh you know for those of you that are outside the united states it, it's going to cost a fair amount of money so keep that in mind uh typical rules for my giveaway here you're gonna uh basically have to find all the rules on the entry form and i'm going to put the link to the entry form as a reply to my pinned comment in the comment section so i'll have a comment in the comment section i'll pin it and then i'll put the uh, reply to that comment and in that reply will be the entry form where you can enter uh, to um, enter to win one of these. Or actually, oh, there's two of these, but so there'll be two winners. And of course, read all the rules before you enter. So make sure you're qualified, etc. Make sure that you're aware that you'll have to pay for shipping. So I know sometimes people are like, well, you know, I live in Australia. It's very expensive to ship things from the United States to Australia. It will may cost a pair a, a fair penny to ship these to you so just keep that in mind before you enter anyway that's going to cover for this video hopefully you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll talk to you guys in the next video